Hey guys, what's going on? Glove Save Gaming back here with another video. In today's video, we're going to be continuing our Quebec Nordiques franchise mode. We're on now to episode number five and season number four. If you haven't had the chance to check out any of the first couple seasons, I'd really appreciate if you go back on my channel and do so. Let's take a look at the 2026 draft where we did have the fifth overall pick and the ninth overall pick in the first round. Ryan Rubrex, definitely a guy to keep an eye on. 78 overall, medium elite left winger. Decided to send him back to junior this year, though, just because the team obviously isn't that great. Want to put him in a position to succeed, probably come into the NHL next year at an 80 plus overall. So let's take a look at our lines head into this season, and then I'll take you through the couple trades we made as well. So our first line is Alexis Lafreniere with John Tavares and Frank Vetrano. Second line is Drake Batherson with Yanni Gord and Alex Iafalo. Third line is Michael Essamon with Tej Aginla and Callie Yarncroke. And our fourth line is Jordan Everly with Jake Evans and Raphael Harvey Pennard. So Harvey Pennard was brought in on a two-year deal, $1.6 million per season. Jordan Everly also brought in to play on that fourth line. One-year deal at $1.6 million. TJ Ginla, Jerome Ginla's son, we drafted him 33rd overall in 2024. He's going to be making his NHL debut this year, playing on that third line. Michael Esamont was brought in in a trade this offseason. Same thing with Drake Batherson. And our other signings, John Tavares, he's coming in as our first line center. He's a little bit older right now, one year deal. $6 million makes a lot of sense for him if we're not good. I don't mind shipping him out to a contender at the trade deadline. On defense, we've got Alexander Nikishin with David Reinbacker, Adam Yurich with Noah Hannafin and Alexander Romanov with Jake McCabe. So no re-signings on defense. The only guy that's really coming in that's brand new, Adam Yurichek, 2024 first round pick, 13th overall. He's going to be playing in our top four this season. And our goaltenders for this year are Jeremy Swayman and Jonas Corposalo. Corposalo was brought in in a trade with Ottawa, which I'll go through in a sec. And Jeremy Swayman, he was a UFA, but he's coming back. A six-year deal, $9.25 million. Definitely needed to pay up as we are not a winning team. He's obviously a great goaltender so let's go through our trades as of right now the first one is with the New York Islanders we sent a fourth round pick in Jacob Bernard Docker in exchange for Michael Essamon obviously he's plugged in on the third line right now Bernard Docker is not making our team so I thought this trade made a lot of sense he's got two more years left on his contract about 1.7 million our second trade is with the Ottawa Senators we sent Sam Girard a third round pick medium top six prospect in G cross he was a 74 overall I think and Noah Gregor who had one more year left on his deal at $800,000 in exchange we've got Drake Batherson who's going to plug into the top six and then Jonas Corposalo as well so I really like that coming in Corposalo really solid backup goalie and our final trade here is with the Washington Capitals we sent out Kasperi Kapanen just like I said we'd probably do when we got him at the deadline last year in exchange for a fourth round pick he wasn't really going to be playing in our team so I thought this made a lot of sense this is your first time tuning in I usually sim up to the 30 game mark trade deadline end of season take you through stats and standings updates hopefully we'll be able to get into the playoffs for the first time in this Nordiques franchise mode we are 30 games into season number four and not too hot of a start for the Nordiques 8 17 and 5 currently in ninth place which is last in the Atlantic division at the moment 21 points let's take a look at the entire league and see what place we were in at the moment. We're in second last right now, so Washington's a little bit worse than us. They're 8, 18, and 4, so we're probably going to be battling for the first overall pick. We definitely have some guys that we can trade for assets at the deadline, so I don't think this is the worst possible outcome for us this year. So taking a look at player stats in the Nordiques after 30 games, Tavares is at 29 points, Tej Aginla 14, Yanni Gore 10, Jake Evans is at 7, for left wingers Aya follows at 18, Harvey Pinard 8, Michael Essamont is at 7, for right wingers Vetrano's at 29 including 20 goals so far, Alexis Lafreniere 28, Batherson 19, Cali Yarncroke 16, and Jordan Eberle 13. On defense, Nikishin's having a really good season. He's got 25 points. Reinbacher's at 13, Juracek 10, Hannafin 6, McCabe 5, and Romanov is at 4. And for goaltending, Swayman's not getting a lot of help this year. He's 6, 10, and 4, one shutout, 893 save percentage, and a 3.48 goals against average. While Jonas Corposalo is 2, 7, and 1 with an 873 save percentage and a 4.85 goals against average average 
So we are here now one day before the trade deadline, and I guess you can say there's been a little bit of an improvement from the Nordic squad, but we're still 23-32-7, and seven, quite a ways out of the playoffs, 53 points. Ottawa also has 53 points, but we're sitting with a game in hand near the bottom of the NHL and hoping, I guess, we can get this first overall pick this year and get some good assets out of the trade deadline. Taking a look at player stats on the Nordiques, after 62 games, John Tavares has got 52 points, Yanni Gord 29 T. Jaginla's got 27. Jake Evans is at 15 for left wingers. Ayafalo's got 41. Esimont, 19. Harvey Pinard is at 13. Right wingers, Vitrano's at 61. Lafreniere, 55. Batherson, 48. Yarncroak, 29. And Eberly is at 24. For defenseman, Nikishin having a really good season this year, 51 points. Juracek, 21. Hannafin, 19. Romanov, 15. Reinbacker's also at 15. And Jake McCabe's at 8. For goalies, Swayman, 17, 24, and 6 with two shutouts. 900 save percentage and a 3.47 goals against average. Definitely an improvement from him since the 30-game mark. And Corpus Salo is 6, 8, and 1 with no shutouts. An 8.83 save percentage and a 4.18 goals against average. We're here at the trade deadline looking to pull off a massive deal with the Dallas Stars to send out Noah Hannafin on the final year of this contract at $5.25 million. Drake Batherson came in last offseason playing pretty solid this year at 21 goals, but he's going to be the, on the way out the door as well. And Jake McCabe, who came in at the trade deadline last year, all three of these guys are on expiring contracts and don't have any interest in re-signing with us this year. From Dallas, I put in Tyler Sagan in this deal. Obviously, a hefty contract. He's on the last year of it, though it kind of lets the salary even out and they're getting a good forward back in Drake Batherson looking to get a first round pick and prospect Luka Radiojevic a 74 overall medium top four defenseman 20 years old a first round pick in 2025 32nd overall so I'm hoping this trade will go through and the trade is accepted so we are still here at the trade deadline looking to pull off another move, this time with the Winnipeg Jets, to send out Jake Evans. He's been here since the expansion draft. Pretty solid fourth line center, but he's going to be on his way out the door. Frank Vitrano, he's been awesome this year, just under a point per game with 61 and 62 games. He's going to be out the door as well going to Winnipeg. They could definitely use him in the top six. And John Tavares. He came in this offseason with the mentality, if we're not good, I'm going to trade him with the deadline. He's 36 years old. So it makes a lot of sense to let him go. And getting back from the Winnipeg Jets, Ad Lambert, 81 overall, low elite, 2022 first-round pick. Also get a first-round pick back. Nino Niederreiter on the final year of this contract where he's making $4 million bucks. He's got 40 points this year. His value is not too high, though. Dmitry Usnikov, he was drafted in 2024, second round, 61 overall, a couple years away from the NHL. And then Carter George has a projection to be a starting goalie in the NHL, 74 overall medium starter, a fourth round pick back in 2024. So I'm hoping that this trade will go through and the trade is accepted. So after making those moves at the deadline, here are our lines for the remainder of the season. Aya follow with Gord and Lafreniere, Yarncroke with Lambert and Harvey Pennard, Essamont with Sagan and Niederreiter, and Eberly with Aginla and Riley Tufty. On defense, we've got Nikishin with Reinbacker, Juracek with Romanov, and Guyulev with Carter Yakumchuk, and our goaltenders are still Jeremy Swayman and Jonas Corposalo. So the regular season is now complete, obviously. Very disappointing for the Nordiques, not able to take a step up in the standings from last year at all. 60 points, record of 26-48-8. Not too good as the Ottawa Senators finished 16 points ahead of us, and they were just in 8th place. So the Leafs come in first in the league with 123 points, and we come in second last. The Pittsburgh Penguins have three less points than us, so we have a really good chance of getting first overall. We might see us picking second overall or even later in this year's draft. Taking a look at final points in the Nordiques, after the 82-game regular season, Tyler Sagan, 48 points, Yanni Gord, 44, Aginla, 32, Brad Lambert at 5 and 20 games, Iofalo, 55, Essamont, 22, Harvey Pinard, 18, and Riley Tufty with 6 and 20 games, right wingers, Lafreniere, 75 points, Niederreiter, 49, Yarncroke, 42, and Jordan Eberle with 30 for defenseman Alexander Nikishin, 63 points. Juracek, 28. Romanov, 20. Reinbacker, 16. Guyulev with 1 in 20 games. And Yakumchuk does not record a point in the 20 games that he played. Jeremy Swayman went 
36 and 6 with three shutouts, an 896 save percentage, and a 3.58 goals against average. While Jonas Corpasalo goes 6 13 and 2, no shutouts, 881 save percentage, and a 4.34 goals against average. Taking a look now at the playoff bracket for this year, the Colorado Avalanche will win the Stanley Cup. They defeated Dallas in round one in five games, Arizona in round two in six games, swept the Vancouver Canucks in the conference finals, and defeated the Leafs in the Stanley Cup finals in six games. Taking a look at final team and league awards for this season, Colorado wins the Stanley Cup in 2027, Leafs win the President's Trophy, Clarence Campbell Bowl to the Colorado Avalanche, and the Leafs win the Prince of Wales. Individual awards, the Art Ross goes to Austin Matthews, along with the Hart, the Norris goes to Evan Bouchard, the Lady Bing to Braden Point, the Calder goes to Bradley Nadeau, who's now on Seattle, Conn Smythe to Nathan McKinnon, Vesna to Samuel Montembeau, who's now on the Maple Leafs, William M. Jennings to Anton Forsberg, who's on the Edmonton Oilers, Bill Masterton to Jalen Chatfield, who's now on the Kraken. Jack Adams goes to the Hawks coach. Selkie goes to Robert Thomas. Ted Lindsay to Austin Matthews. And the Maurice Rocket Richard also goes to Austin Matthews. Thank you very much for watching this video. Episode number five, season number four of the Nordiques franchise mode. Have failed to make the playoffs in the first four seasons. Got six more seasons left to make some damage in this league. We've got some pretty good young assets that I hope will help us out in the near future. If you haven't had the chance to check out any of my other content i'd really appreciate if you can go back and do so it would help me out if you can like subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell so you won't miss any future uploads